now. Count on two, live and local in the Low Country. This is News 2 at 6. Good evening, I'm Brendan Clark. And I'm Carolyn Murray. Today, the suspect accused of kidnapping four-year-old Heidi Todd from her Johns Island home appeared in bond court. Thomas Lawton Evans faces several charges, including kidnapping. During the hearing, Evans waived bond and is now in U.S. Marshals custody. He admitted to recently being released from prison just 14 days ago. And we also know Evans told the judge he'd been dealing with mental health issues and was receiving treatment while in prison. No word, though, on when he will be extradited back to Charleston. Ninth Circuit solicitor Scarlett Wilson released this statement, which reads in part, to be crystal clear, there is no connection between the victims in this matter and the alleged defendant. They were randomly targeted. Three railroad workers are being credited for being heroes and helping find that little girl, Heidi Todd. It's a great story. News 2's Leba Holland has been following it. Leba, the workers took quick action by making a phone call to police when they saw Heidi inside that car. Well, that's right, guys, but at the time they didn't know that it was Heidi. They just saw a car parked in an unusual spot with a little girl inside in the passenger seat and a man reclining next to her in the driver's seat. Of course, it did turn out to be Heidi and her alleged abductor Thomas Evans. The men say that they didn't want to take a chance, so that's why they called 911. They also took photos of Evans and Heidi from a distance and sent them to the police chief, Rick Oliver. That's when Oliver recognized that it was Heidi and Evans and arrested Evans and collected Heidi. If it hadn't have been for them, uh, I, I would have known the car was there. All that being said, they're responsible for that little girl being safe today. Being we're all we're all fathers, we all have children, you know. Just glad it turned out like it did, really. Yeah. We all are. Heidi is now reunited with her family and the family. The Todd family did release a statement earlier this week, thanking all of those who played a role in Heidi's rescue in the studio tonight. Libba Holland count on two. Libba, thank you right now. Family, friends and the North Charleston Police Department are mourning the loss of one of their own. 31 year old North Charleston Police Officer Ryan McLuhan was killed last night on Ladson Road while riding his motorcycle. He was off duty at the time. Today, the woman accused of hitting Officer McLuhan appeared in bond court. News to Sophia Arizozo was inside during that hearing. And Sophia, wondering if the suspect expressed any regret for her actions. Brendan Brooks denied the opportunity to talk about the accident, but her attorney did speak on her behalf and it was an emotional hearing. There were North Charleston police officers in the room as well as state troopers and family members of both the suspect and the victims. Now Brooks is charged with felony DUI resulting in death. Officials say she failed to yield for a left turn. McLuhan was wearing a helmet at the time of the crash, but he was later pronounced dead. Brooks did take a breathalyzer test. She blew a point zero zero, but we are still awaiting the results from a toxicology report today. Her attorney argued he doesn't think this is a true felony DUI case. This is a, a horrible, horrible accident. And uh, it's really unfortunate that we have to be here under these circumstances. But I would say that blowing a zero zero and making a left turn like that. This is a failure to yield improper left turn. The McLuhan family attorney did ask the judge to deny bond. Brooks was a teacher at Burke High School. She is now on administrative leave. Reporting live in Dorchester County, Sophia Zoza, count on two. All right, this is another story we are watching very closely right now. South Carolina Highway Patrol arrested the man you see here. Richard Shore is charged with driving under the influence following a deadly car accident that happened last night. North Charleston K-9 Officer Mojo was killed in that accident. Troopers say that Shore tried to make a left turn on Rivers Avenue and was hit by a North Charleston police cruiser. The officer driving the cruiser was taken to the hospital. We are told the canine died as a result of his injuries. Today, Berkeley County School District and law enforcement conducted a gunfire demonstration for school staff. The training will help administrators and faculty if there is a crisis inside of their schools. School officials say prior to the deadly shooting in Florida, the district had been planning this exercise. 
After training this year, officers and deputies fired four different types of guns that have all been used in school shootings in this country. It, it doesn't get any, any more real than this. Um, I've, I've said it many times, we are responsible and the teachers and principals are responsible for uh, the most pre precious commodity and that's our children. And we only have one opportunity to get this right. Teachers and staff at Kane Bay Elementary School will continue training at different simulations that will happen during this school year. Of course, social media threats, no joke, especially when it comes to threatening the lives of students and teachers. After that tragic shooting in Florida, taking the lives of 17 people here in the low country at Georgetown County uh, School launched a police investigation after a student reported a school threat. So we checked with the local school district to see what happens after they receive a threat at school. We do everything we can. We, we, we get the electronic release doors. We got the cameras. We have SROs in our schools. We train, we plan scenarios, but there's nothing more important than the safety of the staff and students. Mike Turner says the district investigates all threats and immediately contacts law enforcement once receiving news of a threat. We reached out to Charleston, Berkeley and Georgetown counties, but they were unable to comment at this time.